Martin and Natalie, what we are going to do now is the bedtime routine. Yeah. We're going to create the tranquility, keep everything calm. Come on, Bethany. As well as establishing a solid routine which helps the children to unwind, Super Nanny wants Martin and Natalie to tackle bedtimes as a team. OK, Martin. Mum's going to come and do bedtime now for the girls. And then you've got Tyler for bath. This is very lovely to see. Mum and the girls reading stories. They're very tired and ready for bed. But everything's a lot calmer. And the children get to have Mum and Dad at bedtime. We'll get a result here. Normally, it takes a good two hours before all four children settle down to sleep. Super Nanny explains the next stage of the routine. So what we're going to do now is the same bed technique. Yeah. All right, and the steps with that are three. First time the child comes out of bed, it's bedtime, darling. Yeah. Take them by the hand, tuck them back into bed. Okay. The second time, you state what it is. Yeah. Bedtime. And the third time when they come out, you don't give them any eye contact or communication. You just usher them back into the bed and put the covers back over them. OK. All right? OK. Armed with the new rules, it's Martin who's put to the test first. It's the third time. In line with Super Nanny's advice, Martin repeatedly takes Bethany back to bed. <laughs> but she's not about to give in easily. Ah, what are you going to do this again? And you've got to stay calm. Do you know how you're going to stay calm? Because she wants you to lose it. She wants that negative attention. Take her back upstairs. Get her! Get her! It's hurting my arms, mommy! As emotions run high, Super Nanny gets to the bottom of the problem. Take her upstairs, please. Let go! She came down here and looked at you because she wants you to do what you always do. Hi. What's that? That curve of Martin is exactly. I think both Natalie and Martin are finding it extremely difficult. They've got into, for many years, a lot of bad habits. They've never had discipline in the house to a degree where they followed through and were consistent. So changing those behaviour patterns, recognising that they can't give up on the first hurdle, is going to really push them and test their own strength, and I think that's what they're finding now. In the end, it's Mum who gets Bethany up to bed, but she and Martin have backed each other up, marking the beginning of a new regime.